Super Mario 64 is a staple in gaming history, but how much of it do you really remember? I'm a game developer, so I decided to put my childhood to the test and attempt to remake Super Mario 64 entirely from memory. No internet, no chat, no reference images, just my head. Enjoy the video and consider subscribing if you do like it. 10 out of 10 acting right there. So we have the map, very broad, but we'll figure it out. Mario, uh, Goomba, bob Uh, what are the like boulders on that hill? The big hill and they have the boulders. I think this is everything we need. Now, we have to actually create these models which will probably be the most time consuming part. And obviously to do this, we're gonna use the best 3D modeling program, Paint 3D, which I don't know how to use actually at all. This is fire. <laughs> Yo, is it just me or is Mario kind of cute? And his hat, dude. I've never been prouder of any of my 3D work. He has blue overalls some shoes oh I mean not not quite <laughs> this looks a little sus actually somehow I think I made it even more sus let's just let's just get rid of all that here we go good as new dude is it just me or is this actually look not that far off honestly I think he's perfect there you have it it's Mario He's actually so pretty, dude. I mean, I mean, it just looks good. He's, I, I didn't, I didn't mean, anyway. Let's just move on to the next one. Goomba. They're literally just a circle with two feet and their face has like a texture on it. We got this, we got this. All right, this is my Goomba. I think it's pretty accurate. He's doing his best. And there we go. The bob -omb will be similar. I will fill it. The feet are yellow and he has a yellow um stem or a wick is i guess what it is let me make it white i think it's oh, i don't know i like how the eyes like kind of perfectly work with this there we go that's not terrible and it also has a crank it has a crank this is not uh centered at all it's all right it's all right <laughs> It's a decent replica, I'd say. This might be the most accurate one so far. Probably because it's just a circle with feet. Boulder, I'll show you exactly how I plan to make the boulders. There we go. I'll do the star next. Oh gosh, you know what? Sure, it's good enough. Let me make the chain chomp. I think I have a pretty good idea of what it looks like. So I'll open it slightly. Nice. There we go. Oh man. Wow, these teeth are perfect. Something like this. <laughs> this is horrifying. Oh my. You know what? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. His teeth could be a little better, but overall, this one's honestly not too bad. There we go, look, it's Mario. Woo, ah. Some, some very authentic movement, if I do say so myself. So now what I'll do is I'll make it so that each of the enemies kill you, and then the star brings you to the next level. If I touch this chain chomp now, I should die. Well, that did not work at all. Please. Oh, it works. Now if I collect the star, Ta-da. Just like in the original game. This looks like the original. Kind of. Maybe. All right, now they should follow you. Perfect. Ow. For the chain chomp, I'll make a similar script and just have it rotate toward the player. That's a little scary. Now that we have all the mechanics in place, it is finally time to recreate bob on Battlefield entirely from memory. All right, let me give you a rundown of my map sketch. So you have the starting area where they have the pink bob -ombs. They're like NPCs. I don't think they really do anything. 
And then there is this sort of like elevated bridge. It's like a slanted bridge thing. That's what this arrow means. That brings you up to this first platform where the chain chomp is. And otherwise, if you go down here, they have Goombas, which are these light brown circles, and then the Bob-Omps, which are these grayish circles. But if you go up to this platform, then you cross this seesaw bridge, which brings you to this area where there are more Goombas. And then you walk through this gate, which brings you to the area where you climb up the hill. And these black circles are the boulders that come down the hill. But then if you climb all the way up the hill, you get the star. Normally there's a boss fight here, but it's fine. That's more or less what I think the map looks like. I know I'm definitely missing things, but it's hopefully good enough. Now, time for the actual painful part. Recreating this as a 3D model. Paint 3D, the best tool for map design. So this is where you start, something along these lines. And then of course the giant hill. So far so good, honestly. Not awful, not awful. Wow, this is terrible. I think the hill, I can just make it out of cylinders. Not, not that way. There we go. Oh, the slightly smaller one. Yay. And then finally, I'll take this top. And this is where the star will be. All right, now that the map is sort of done, I guess that's debatable. We just have to export it and import it into Unity. I mean, I think if they had the technology that we have now, this is probably what they would have made the map look like. Mine's more like high poly and better graphics. Oh yeah, let's go. I think, he, okay, there we go. Let's go. Now that the map is fully imported into the game, I think we just need to add in all the enemies. Down here, there are lots of Goombas and things. Same with, uh, Bob Bombs. Oh, I gotta put the star at the top of the hill. Um, oh yeah, the Chain Chomp. <laughs> Yo. And you get the star. The last thing I need to do is add in the boulders. <laughs> That is horrifying. You do not want to mess with those boulders, dude. But let's see. If you hug the wall, you should be fine. <laughs> okay, go. Run, run. And we did it. Let's go. And then here is your star. That's literally an exact replica of Mario 64. Now that the game is done, I think it's time to finally see how it compares to the original Mario 64. I am not too hopeful about this. Let's start off by comparing all of the models. Mario. I mean, I got I got the colors right. He has he has white gloves, red shirt, blue overalls. Other than that, there's not really any similarity at all. I don't know why I thought his nose was that big. Okay, honestly, this one is actually not as bad. I think the face is generally correct. I got like the expression correct. It's just I'm missing the little fangs. The actual Goomba has like a torso too. The shape also could be a bit better. Definitely better than the last one, so I really can't complain. This bob was definitely my best work. I'm curious. Okay. Not bad, actually. Yeah, his eyes are way too far apart. This thing also way too thin. But relative to everything else, pretty amazing. Probably the closest to the original game. Next is the boulders. I wonder. Dang. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I think I got the geometry perfect. A very good recreation, if I do say so myself. The Chain Chomp. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this one. Honestly, pretty solid. I'm kind of impressed. Just very creepy eyeballs. Yeah, there wasn't really much to mess up at all here. It's literally just the star with eyeballs. So, pretty good. 
All right, now for the fun part, we get to compare my recreation of the level to the actual level in the game. My starting area is missing a lot. I completely forgot to add in the pink ball bombs. I also forgot about the cannon too, completely. And the stone, I just have a grass hill. I also just kind of skipped that entire bit with the dirt path. Straight off of the starting area, I go straight to that bridge that's over here. But once he gets up that bridge, let's see how they compare. The change up area is kind of similar. Then once he crosses this bridge, that's the bridge right here. This bridge is supposed to be a seesaw, but it's just a bridge. Oh, see look, it's actually not an arch. It's just the entire thing is fenced off and there's an opening where you walk through. I kind of just kept the whole thing open and put an arch here, which I can see now is pretty dumb because then you can just like go off the map. Oops. Let's see how the hill compares. All right, yeah, pretty solid. You kind of circle around the hill or the mountain, whatever. He's circling around. There's some gaps in the hill that I'm missing, but I have the general shape right at least and then once you get to the top of the hill there's a boss fight which i don't have but afterwards you can get the star pretty accurate not really so yeah there we go if you want to hire me after seeing this game nintendo just send me an email